Liquid life. Breakfast. It's what's for breakfast. <laughs> I hope you guys caught it. I have now uploaded the videos. They are 360 videos. One for the showroom floor and one for our hotel room, Children of the Corn, 1980s horror movie, 13th floor makeover. Children of the Corn! <laughs> and that, that is what I bleeped out from him because he knew what it was. Now I haven't introduced him to like any of the gory stuff of it. Um, oh, he, he actually was copying me when I was doing the Children of the Corn drawings. He would draw corn and he would draw the kids and he'd draw the scarecrow. Now again, I will stress that I did not go in and do any of the knives or the blood scenes while he was around, but uh, it was really fun for him to watch that stuff. Both of the 360 videos and yesterday's vlog are online, so you guys can go and check those out if you missed any of those videos yesterday. Um, but right now, we are taking him to Taekwondo. Well now, apparently he doesn't get to go to Taekwondo today because they canceled it. That's, that's and nobody fun. let me know that. That's fun for you. <laughs> that's fun for you? Yep. Well, I'm proud of you for at least going even though you said that you didn't want to go. Because it should be fun, right? Yeah. Do you see that? What? Look up in the tree. It's a big squirrel. <laughs> it's not a big squirrel. Where'd it go? It's difficult between my glasses and between looking through the camera to find out where it goes, where it went. Where'd it go? It's a raccoon in a tree. Where is it? Right there. I can't see it. I'm looking at its butt. <laughs> That's pretty weird seeing a raccoon during the day. 500? Whoa, that'd be cool if we got $500. So Phoenix is uh, getting the mail. I'm gonna see if he's able to get it. And if he is, then maybe that'll be one of his chores too. Oh, you gotta hold on to the mail. You have to bring it into the house. You can't hand it to daddy. That's part of the chore, right? So we just got through going to the playground. I got my steps in. Woo! At the hill! At the hill, yes. And uh, now we're gonna transition and we're going to uh, destroy some corn. I wanna help. You wanna help destroy some corn? Yeah, I'm, right. go I'm gonna pull it out really slowly. Oh, really slowly give the corn an agonizing death. More like this. Like how? Like this. Okay, well that's not really slowly. This would be, that would be slow. That, that's not slow. This is really slow. That's maybe too slow. Yeah, gosh, but look. Oh, this one here is so strong though. Oh, maybe we'll try to save this one. The other day I transplanted these and they are obviously dying. So, we're gonna pull these out of there. I got a stick ship, a really short one. Here. <clears throat> those go over there. You wanna take all those and go and put them in the recycle bin. What? All those, look, behind you. Oh. Take all those and put them in the recycle bin. In the backyard? No, here. here. No, here, I'll show you. Now, I'm not sure if you guys knew it, but <laughs> I... <laughs> I'd also taken these and I had to make stands for them because I'm not sure if I planted them too close to the surface or what, I don't know. But um, I had to uh, prop them all up. So went to the dollar store, got some tooth or toothpicks, some popsicle sticks, nylon zip ties, and those were my props for them. So I think I want to try and save, good job. I think I want to try and save the three strongest ones and replant them there. Although I think it's too cold in that pot right there form still and it's a shock because they're being replanted how she's getting so tall and so big look at that good job it smells gross in there, <laughs> it smells gross in there? what does it, it smell like it smells like mm, bird poop it smells like bird poop yep. alrighty I do not have high hopes for them but there they are do you think they'll grow <laughs> oh, you don't think they'll grow? No. Oh. There's a worm in there. There is a worm in there. That what means that they might grow. Who knows? We'll see. Can you say that again? Because that was extremely profound. This light means to make someone confused. And I heard that video at my mom's house on ABC Mouse. Wow. 
that's almost like he said it the first time, even though I brought the camera out. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. You're very smart, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Phoenix completed everything today. He fed Buffy, cleaned his room before bed, dirty clothes into laundry, and he got the mail. He made 55 cents today. There's 25, and 25 is 50, and 5 is 55. And this is the Bob Eagle of the United States. That, that's right, here you go. So we're going to, we should go out and get you a special piggy bank tomorrow that you can put this in. What do you want to get? A piggy bank? <laughs> okay, what okay. Kind? Daddy will get the piggy bank. I... I'm not gonna make you save up to get a piggy bank. Does All right. go Grandma and Papa to get the blocks, the blocks uh. back because Papa wants them back. Yep, that's right. So the things that I grew the corn in, we should bring them back. I'm not sure we're going to go there tomorrow or not. I haven't even talked to mom and dad to see if. Then let's talk whatever. to them. I know we should, but daddy's got lots of other things he has to do. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. But you made 55 cents today, buddy. Good job. Oh my gosh. Do you want to turn this into a piggy bank? Mhm. Mm do you want to? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> so let's. I'm, ex I'm excited. I'm so excited. My voice is cracking. Pumpkin piggy bank. Piggy bank, not penny bank. Piggy, like piggy. So that's a piggy bank. A piggy bank. Let's make that to a piggy bank. Awesome. Okay, hold the camera. All right. All right, here we go. Where do you want the hole at? I want the hole right here. You want it right here? Yeah. But we put it closer to the top here. Okay. That way it'll hold more. Good. Okay. Right here. Okay. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Making the slot for the coin. Go this way. Oh, look. Oh, did I do it right? Ooh, look, I did it right. What's that? Look, what? all right, there you go. Oh, yay! Pretty bank. All right, put them in. Woo! What's this? That's just the piece that came. You, that can go in the garbage. It's got some in there. Hi, Buffy. Are you the cleanup crew? <laughs> All right, Phoenix is in bed. Um, we were gonna do the contest tonight on uh, you now, but I didn't give you guys the link yesterday. I didn't set it up at all. Um, and it is getting kind of late tonight. So I don't know what time tomorrow. I will never blink. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what time tomorrow, but um, we're gonna plan on doing the contests tomorrow. There's three of them that we need to do. Um, Again, two of them are Patreon drawings, and one of them is the guest for the Super Secret Project. Uh, so I'm about ready. These are all the, the guesses for the Super Secret Project right here. The ones in yellow are the ones that got them correct, which there were one, two, three, four. Four people that got the correct answer in one of the two guesses. Uh, so we're going to be picking from random tomorrow to figure out that. And I think the winner for this, I think we're going to do a Hellmouth t-shirt. I want to buy it for you guys. Um, since that was an awesome uh, contest. Uh, what else? And then the Patreon contests. Uh, one of those is going to be for the movie poster. And the other one uh, we'll probably do like a, um, a Hellmouth prize pack of shot glasses. Um, and pens and keychains. I got to get rid of the merch. Which I think, yeah, I think all the red shot glasses, yeah, all the red ones are gone. The purple ones are gone. The red ones are gone. The only ones that we have left right now are the green and the black and orange ones. So, I just wish I could have continued to have gotten a different color shot glass every year, but you know, sometimes things like that happen. Uh, I still wanna do the stainless steel ones. If you guys would be interested in a stainless steel shot glass, post it down in the comments. Um, I think I said this like probably about a year ago, but if we're able to possibly start getting uh, people interested in those and get pre-orders, then I could actually order them and we could actually make this thing happen. To have the Hellmouth logo or whatever engraved on a stainless steel shot glass. Oh, God, that's just sexy. I'm sorry I have to say that. But anyway, um, I'm going to get ready for the contest, uh, cut those up, and that, that way tomorrow. Hi. You caught me right in the middle of vlogging. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. 
Hi, camera in your face, awkwardly. Before we get into COC tonight, I wanted to show you guys something cool that some of you, I guess, may not know. If you click on either one of those 360 videos from yesterday, the first thing you should do is go down and view it in its best definition. You can go and you can move. You can grab your mouse and you can move up and down and you can do 360. You can go all the way around if you wanted to. And you can probably see my bald head down here. Yep, there's Troy's balding head. Woohoo! Sexiness. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not sure if you knew that on these 360 videos, you can go and you can look at whatever you want to. So thank you to Todd, Triff27, for giving us a 360. That's pretty, pretty awesome. Outstanding. So it's now time for COC. First comment of the night, Mary Paradiso. Good morning. Have a great Saturday. Great vlog like always. Wait, I'm first? Holy crap. <laughs> you were first. Angie Hill, good morning, Phoenix and Troy. Aw, good morning. And you also said good morning, fellow, fellow Hellions. I'm gonna shotgun everybody's comment and we're gonna read them all. Scare Studios, Tristan Screams, you're great at gymnastics, Troy. Haha, -ha, thank you. <laughs> Halloween Fur, lol, Phoenix is funny. He made me laugh when he said listening to be a chore. Well, I guess it is sometimes. Shay's Tiny Corner of the Interwebs, love spring, hate seasonal allergies. Oh, do you have allergies? Because I know the pollen right now. Like, you guys haven't heard me mention it, but it's bad. And you also say, well, I gave my boys chores like feed the dog, keep the rooms clean, load, unload the dishwasher, or put clean dishes away. Yeah, well, Phoenix can't reach yet, and we don't have a dishwasher. I'm the dishwasher, and I don't want to get loaded. <laughs> Okay, so it wasn't that funny. Nicole Flynn, hi Troy and Phoenix. I think good chores for Phoenix would be to set the table silverware and napkins and to make his bed in the morning and put his dirty clothes in the laundry basket every night. You know, um, I did take your advice for the laundry, um, putting his uh, dirty clothes in the hamper, so that's awesome. Tony Fredrickson, I can't see where you went live. I missed it, sad panda. Uh, yes, we will probably be going live tomorrow and I still haven't mentioned it. If you go down below to the description, click on show more, the link down below for you now is there. Tomorrow we will be going live on you now to announce the contest results. Time, I don't know, but I will also be posting on Twitter and Facebook the link for it when we go live. Branson Hanna Hills, so cool how you can multitask like that. Multiple views of Angie is a good thing. I got to see her on the CHA Home Hunters Awards show. That was cool. I think you were in one of the pictures from Fright Fest also. It looked like you, yes. I was. It's cool to be parting with the Canadians now. Christopher Presley, Phoenix should do simple chores like doing the laundry, doing dishes, mowing the lawn, changing the oil in your car, power washing the house, repainting the house, and repairing the driveway. You know, simple ones. <laughs> I think you're right. All in due time. Andrea Rose Grills, I think he should have three chores. No, actually, he's up to four now. Baldy Jack, dentist, eh? Sounds nice. Troy and his boy, cool. Oh, Troy and his boy, cool. Chores you say maybe he could help you with the trash and groceries or something like that. Um, yeah, the trash, a little bit too young still for the trash. But groceries, he did help me uh, bring them in. Uh, Wolf Spain Hollow, very long comment. Uh, you talked about uh, some things that your boys um, did when uh, you were young, including keeping shoes in order in their closets, making sure the CDs were back in their cases when they finished watching, etc. Uh, Don Shaw, love you mowing your yard with your Troy Built lawnmower. I know, it's kind of ironic, isn't it? Carrie Ann Olson, I had a family get together today. This is what I made. Uh, let's take a look. What did you make? Oh my gosh, are those peeps? Oh, that's so awesome. I love peeps. I don't think I've ever met a peep that I didn't like. Um, I mean, and that's true. If they're too fresh, then they're nice and ooey gooey. If they're like just mediocre, then they're kind of okay. If they're stale, then they're kind of crunchy. So. Again, I have not met a peep that I didn't like. Jolson, mowing the lawn, washing the dishes, remodeling the house, and doing your punishment already. <laughs> Gosh, you're so funny. You know, I, I'm actually at the point because it seriously weighs and it stresses me out about not doing the punishment. I will do it. I will get to it. But it's actually, I'm actually to the point right now that I'm thinking about not doing punishments anymore. And final comment of the night, real fan Jason, it can be a chore. Ha ha ha. I see what you did there. All right. Happy hunting, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, it's so quiet. The music stopped. Why did the music stop? See you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Happy haunting, everyone. Not to haunting him today for hell is